This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase II Digital Micro Vickers Hardness Tester with manual turret. These hardness testers are designed to test primarily metals using the Vickers Hardness Method. They are state-of-the-art, precise testing systems suitable for hardness analysis of metallic specimens in metallography laboratories or production environments. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. Let's begin with the unique design of this series hardness tester. Here we have the weight load selector, the manual optic system with left and right measuring drum wheels, though for today's demonstration video we will use the digital optical system you see installed here on top and connected via a USB cable to a laptop. Here's the XY stage with digital micrometers, Z-axis manual height and focus control, and here is the control pad which is mostly bypassed by the software which is in complete control of the testing procedure except for the manual turret for this series 900-390. Note that should anyone prefer to use this system without the digital optic system they are free and able to do so. Manual optics with drums are in place and keypad control all aspects of the test. However, today it is quite rare to bypass the easy use of a computer screen to see the indentations clearly and work with data in a digital format. Let's take a look at the software interface on our laptop here. First, power up the machine and then power up the software. Under HV, you will find HV measurement settings. The force should match your weight selector settings on the machine dial. The test blocks that come with the machine have a suggested weight load to use. If you intend to do noop scale testing, the checkbox here must be marked and your penetrator must be swapped from a Vickers style to a noop if you don't have a multi-penetrator turret. On this screen you can also set up upper and lower test limits, reporting formats, and other parameters. Now let's make sure the digital camera system is working and connected. On top left click on capture, and then click on image capture window, then devices. Select the R-Tray camera. Next move to options and select preview. This will open a preview screen and confirm the camera is working properly. Then close the preview screen. Once you have determined a position to take a test, manually change the turret so that the penetrator is in position. Press the red start button and the instrument will begin by putting the load on. The red light by the loading sign on the left side of the keypad will blink. After the load is completed, the dwell LED lights up, and at this time, the dwell time begins counting down to zero. After the dwell time of test force is up, the unloading LED blinks, and the instrument automatically unloads the testing force. The instrument will beep when this is done. Upon completion, manually change the turret back to the 40 time optics to see the indentation made and begin measurement on the computer screen. Mouse select a square area over the indentation. Select auto measure if using the B version and reading will appear along with any converted value if so chosen. If you have an A version of software there is no auto measure button available. One must choose to measure either using diagonals or points on screen. Only the B software versions come with auto measure. Once your test is completed, you can move the position of the digital stage micrometer to find another position to take another test. But let's review more of the digital interface. On the top right, we have the refresh button, we have auto measure, measure by diagonals and points, remove the last reading, Select data file locations, generate report, 
image library all the way to the right. We have conversions below. And finally below that we have hardness results in a table. Below that we have settings and parameter changes on the fly in statistics, machine control, hardness curve, conversions, corrections, and other parameters. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 900-390B Micro Vickers Hardness Tester. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.